Hello everybody. Let me just adjust my camera a little bit. Well, good evening. This is a little bit different for me. Let me just bring up my screen. <clears throat> Let's give everybody a chance to join the live. And there it is. Well, good evening. This is a little oh. Let's turn that down. Okay, all sounds good there. And people are joining, so good, good, good. Don't need to do that, okay. So I hope everybody is well. Just check my volume, that all looks good. Hello everybody, it's Sam. Um, someone can say hello. <laughs> just so I know that you can hear me. I'm seeing lots of people joining and I recognise some of the names as well which is really good. So let's just come off of that there. Like I said I'm going to give it a couple of minutes just so that people can find the live and, um, and then I can start making the card that I'm going to show you today. Hi everybody. Bringing all my stuff here as well actually. Let's get my school board ready. If you're going to craft along I'm going to be going slow enough for you to be able to um, you know get your supplies and stuff so you can use anything you want to make this card. You just need some cardstock and then um, let me just check is the chat let me just see I can see it at my end here. Um, ah. All right come on it's off there we go. Maybe that will work now. There. Hello, Alison. Thank you. You can hear me. That's really nice of you. Thanks for saying that. You never know until someone <laughs> says something. Hey, Avril. Hey, Joanne. Thank you for joining. Hey, Anne. I hope everybody's well. It's really unusual for me to do an evening live. It's nice, though, but um, I always do mine around about two o'clock. So hi, Helena. I hope everybody is well. Hello. You know, there's going to be people maybe that I don't uh, recognize I know there's a lot of faces already that I'm seeing that I recognize from our or my um, lives that I do but if anybody's new feel free to say hi um, if not just enjoy in the background and uh, I hope you like the card I'm going to be making so I will bring in what I'm going to use because if, if people are crafting a long live I'm going to be using dies from my garden delight six by six twister card set but like I said you can use anything that's not the card that I'm making but I am going to be using the dies here but any stamps dies anything you want to embellish your card with will work and you will need a piece of five by ten but I'm not going to start scoring I'll give it a few more minutes just to check that um, it's all okay so hopefully yeah it seems to all be all right that end I'm just checking on my let's just reload this it seems to have just booted me out let's come back in again ah there we go that's better I can see oh I don't know what happened it went a bit funny then there's lots more people now that I can say hello to um where did I get to um oh what a lovely change having an evening live hey Zoe hi Carol hey Cheryl um hello Zoe Tammy you've got me on your tv hey Shirley hey Debbie Hey Jenny. Hello Edith. Hi Sam. First time on here but have watched a few of your YouTube videos. Well thank you for joining and again hello to everybody else that's watching as well. Like I said we'll just give it a little bit longer, another minute and then I will start. What time is it? Let's just check on there. Um, yeah it's only not long past so um, let's just pop that down there. So I hope everybody is well and had a nice day although some of you may be starting your day depending on where you're watching let me know where you're from pop it in the chat and um, I know we've got Maria in the background so she will be um, helping to answer any questions if you've got any along the way and um, yeah hopefully it'll just be a nice chilled live I'll probably be on for about an hour to an hour and a half depending those of you that know what I'm like I sometimes <laughs> take longer than I probably need to on my cards so but it should be good fun so but still more people join in so we'll just give it another another minute I'm also using the stamp set here this is my again from my collection it's the Garden Delight A5 I'm going to be using the bees 
and then I think for my sentiment I'm going to be using the enjoy your day from my celebration stamp set so yeah that's everything there and like I said piece of 10 by 7 if you would like to craft along there's some other little bits of cardstock you'll need as well but you can cut them as we're going as I'll be doing anyway so it should be good fun wouldn't let me join during the, from the actual event so um that's why i'm giving it a few minutes for people to join because usually you go live in the event but it just wouldn't let me so um i've just gone live directly on the page so hopefully it will um sort itself out okay i'm gonna get started because i think you've been waiting around for long enough now those of you that joined early and hello again to everybody else and to those that join. So I'm going to be making a floating gatefold card. Um, these have been done, quite a few of them that I've seen. And this was actually uh, a requested tutorial. So I thought I would share it during the live. I'm going to, I've got a few things I want to try along the way, but it, it may not work. But it, it's, it, you know, that will all make sense when we get to that part. So if you've got a piece of 10 by 7, and you've got your scoreboard along the 10 inch side, you just want to score at two and a half and seven and a half okay two and a half and seven and a half and then you just want to fold and burnish both sides to make your gatefold card so you might have a pre-made gatefold and you can do this any size as well once you see how to do it it's really easy to adapt to any size that you may have okay so now we've got that standard gatefold and this is a great shaped card anyway just to decorate with your mats and layers have a nice topper on the front and then inside you have your message so it's a really popular style um i'm going to leave the other pieces for the minute we'll just stick with what we've got here now it's up to you whether you want to you might want to ink directly onto this or you may you know want to use pattern paper i'm actually going to use plain paper and I've already inked up some of it here. I'm going to do some inking with you. But I want like a sky background. So I've got these pieces here. And then I'm going to do this one with you. So I'm going to ink this one up. Now, depending again how you want to decorate, but I'm just going to talk you through where all these are going to be placed. So what I'm going to do is have two on the front. So that is what the card's going to look like from the front. I think I'm going to make a belly band as well. So we'll see how that goes along the way. Then when you open it, we're going to have another two inside here. This is going to be the middle panel. OK, and then I've got these two for the back. So if you want to mat and layer the same as me, then you're going to want these pieces off. You'll need four pieces and these are two and a quarter by six and three quarters. This piece here is four and three quarters by six and three quarters and you'll want two pieces because you'll want one for the back. Now because I'm using an ink and I just wanted everything to match, I've just inked up all of the edges so that when I put this layer over the top it looks like I've got a nice blue piece of cardstock when actually I've just inked the corners. This is what I'm going to stamp my message on and this will be on the back of the card and this is six and a half by four and a half. OK, now those of you that follow me on YouTube, I will be doing this as a YouTube video as well. It will probably go up next week. So I know a lot of people just like to sit back and relax and just get a bit of inspiration. And then if you want to follow it at a slower pace when you're able to stop the video and pause, then just hold out, you know, till next week. And I'll be doing probably the same or similar. I'll be using the same dies and stuff. I might do a different arrangement, but you'll be able to get that over on YouTube. So before I I'm going to right. Yeah. This is where I just there's lots of steps in my head so I wanted to make sure so I'm going to ink this piece here just to show you the colours that I've used and how to do some blending although it's very very easy I've just used two colours so you can see my sheet here from everything else that I've done so I've just got a couple of blending brushes and I've got my Tumbled Glass and Mermaid Lagoon and these are the Distress Oxides. So first of all I'm going to go over the whole area with the, what did I just say that was, Tumbled Glass. So pop that one over there. I'm just going to move the camera a little bit down towards me there just so that I think that might be a little bit better there. Hi everybody, thank you for joining. Feel free to chat if you want. I will keep an eye on it. So um, we've got Maria in the back as well. And she'll answer any questions 
that you may have and she will share any links of product that I'm using as well so I'm just going to just roughly go over this now the nice thing about when you're creating a sky is these kind of like little white areas you can go over that if you don't want it but it almost it looks like that sky it looks like the clouds so it's quite nice to have that effect but if you've got any stencils you know and you might be doing something very different anyway so but pattern paper in this size that I gave you will work really well as well so just very quickly covering that whole section I've done all the other pieces before because otherwise <laughs> I am known for spending, you know, two to three hours on a card. So as much as maybe some of you <laughs> quite like to uh, chill and watch some crafting for that length. And I know that they do when I do my daytime lives. But this evening I'm going to try and half that time. <laughs> so that's that piece. OK, you see we've got those like, little kind of lighter areas. And then I'm just going over it just from the top about three quarters of the way down just with the other colour here and again that was the Mermaid Lagoon and these just make blending really easy for you so I'm just going to start from the top and again not really trying to think about it too much I think sometimes that's where you know if you really kind of put thought into it it doesn't always go to plan whereas if you just go for it I think you can get really nice results there we go just about three quarters of the way down just to give that you know slight ombre kind of look but I like all these kind of patches I think it's going to work really well for the theme of this card so that's those pieces done pop all that to one side now before I stick down the inside mats I've got a few things I want to kind of position and kind of lay out so if you have this die set, I know lots of people do, there are these really lovely dies which give you like little bee or butterfly trails and it's these ones here. So you've got one, two and you've got this one here as well. Okay, excuse me. <coughs> now you want to put these down and kind of roughly think about where you're going to stick your butterfly, bee, fly, whatever it may be. You could do this with maybe like some planes as well. It's quite nice to have that kind of markings in the sky, like when the plane flies by. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you. I've got lots of bits here that I've already prepared because, again, it's quite a bit of die cutting and paper piecing and stuff. So what I'm going to have is two bees. Let me just find where was my bee that I coloured in. This is what happens sometimes, you get so organised. And it's definitely in here because I remember putting it in there. Is it stuck to something? Let's just tip everything out, that might be a bit easier. Okay. Wow, where has he gone? <laughs> Look at this, I've got all these pieces. I've got my flower pots, I've got my spade, I've got all my tools, I've got my little caterpillar. Um, my bees disappeared oh my right okay I'm gonna have to stamp it basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have this one floating up here and then I'm gonna have this one which I need to ink is gonna be maybe about here you want them to be able to move freely this is gonna make I'm gonna go into this in more detail in a minute but just to have a rough idea where it is I'm gonna have a bee here and a bee here so I want to have one of these trails maybe about there because that bee is going to be as if he's just kind of you know flown away from that direction so that's going to be there and then what I'm going to do is have this watering watering can I've got the watering can there this is the wheelbarrow Sam is it's going to be roughly there it's going to fold across onto that side now because this is going to be lifted I'm going to have flowers all coming out of the wheelbarrow so I think that's going to work quite well because when the card opens, these are going to be lifted like this. So you're still going to see all of the flowers. So I think I'm going to maybe move that up a little bit. This is only if you're using these dies, by the way. If you're not, then you can stick these down, obviously, wherever. So I think I'm going to have this one um, about 
there I reckon let me just grab the stamps so it's good to always kind of lay everything down and kind of position it and then you can really get an idea on how everything's going to look so there's one of the bees so he's going to fit in there and then this is the other bee and this one is going to be because I want that to so I reckon there and I would say I'm actually filming on my camera now so or streaming but if you've got you know your phone with you then take a photo when you lay everything down it will just help you then when you go to put it all together but I think that's going to work so I'm going to remove all of this and I'm just going to grab my dye machine just going to carefully pop that over there let's just grab this one here and lift that one up tack it down with a bit of tape if you want I'm not going to just because the oxide inks can sometimes take just a little bit longer to dry I don't know why I can't see any chat and I put comments off and then I put comments on I don't know is nobody talking it seems very unusual all I'm seeing oh now I've just seen Debbie saying me too Sue so I'm not seeing any chat guys and I, I have no idea why I'm pretty good with this I do enough lives every week now I'm seeing it I have to keep going out I'm so sorry if you think I'm ignoring you guys yeah there's all the regular faces as well Sue Rachel Shirley I'm so sorry it's just not bringing all it's showing me is a ton of people joining <laughs> which is lovely but I like to interact with you all so Shirley's saying I brought this set can't wait to watch the video and have a go um rubbish at craft alongs I always lose something if I do everything in advance oh I take it you're talking about when I lost the bees so maybe I'm a little bit delayed with this Rachel loves the bees so hopefully I'm going to keep seeing the chat I don't I have no idea why it's doing it like I said I am going obviously you know via the craft stash page but I would have thought it's all the same so um, I'll just keep refreshing it but now you can see you get that really lovely in this case the heart kind of little trail there and it's just such a nice little you know addition and detail on your cards so I'm just going to carefully lift that one pop that one down and just run that one through so again let me just turn the comments off and on again Jackie Lowell you know we'll all be right here Sam <laughs> yeah it's just the same shame um Hi Sam from Plymouth. Hey Diane, you're a neighbour. <laughs> um, Devona, you received your set last night. I'm so excited. Oh bless you. Well hopefully this gives you more inspiration. I want you to be able to use the dies not just for the card shapes you know that they're obviously made for. There's so much more you can do with them which a lot of you know anyway. Um, cute bee trail. It's sweet isn't it? Um, Jan, ooh that's nice. <laughs> Oh, it's good when I can see the chat because it gives me stuff to talk about. It's like I'm trying to fill, you know, that awkward silence. OK, so I've got those in place. Next, I want to think about my sentiment. So because I'm going to have this one is going to be there. And then this one is going to be. Oh, let's just move that a little bit. That one's going to be up there. So I'm going to have space because I want to stamp this in my platform before I stick it down. Just try and line that up. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. I can always position that be a bit different. So now I want to take the... Um, it's really frustrating that I have to keep doing that, but never mind. Um, the Enjoy Your Day. And I'm going to stamp that because I'm going to have the Happy Birthday on the back. Thank you, Jackie. Hey, Kimberly. Had a heck of a time trying to figure out how to get onto the site, but I made it. Oh, bless you. Um, hey Steve, you okay? Yeah, Steve's a fellow Plymouthian as well. <laughs> Love that blue, thank you, Anne. Um, Helene, Heidi, what's that? Can't see the chat either, Sam. Have them open on the phone next to yes. I don't know, don't know what's going on, guys, but it's nice that you're all here. <laughs> so, I'm going to have enjoy your day, and I'm going to stamp this directly onto this blue because I'm going to use the Versafine black ink. So I'm pretty happy with that. So let's remove all of this. Take all this away and this as well. And then I've got my platform here. 
very dirty with a stamp that I've just seen from another project so I will take that one away and I'm going to keep refreshing this and then um, let's come back out I know there would be a lot more chat going on now so I am sorry I can't see any of it Jackie saying hi Steve chat keeps going yeah it's really strange oh gosh that was lucky um maybe there's a bit of a issue with Facebook where is your cup of tea I know Marion I haven't I had one um maybe about half an hour before I went live um Lisa my dad's family well, that's where I live Lisa <laughs> me too took ages getting onto the site chat okay here in Southampton chat keeps going oh so maybe we're all having that problem so I don't feel don't feel so bad which is a shame but hopefully it's at least you can still see everything which is the main thing so let's um, use my ink which is over here um, I'm just gonna ink this a few times because it's going onto that blue ink so it, 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 although it's, it's dry to touch it does take a while to completely dry so it sometimes will absorb the black ink so it's good to go over it a couple of times so that one away because I want to get that quite intense so um, there we go let's do that one again Mary says hey muckers <laughs> good chat here in Northern Ireland um, my mum lives in Tavistock oh, I love Tavistock Lorraine it's such a lovely town yeah I used um, these colours here that's in reply to Mary so I use the tumble glass and the mermaid lagoon in the oxides. I'm on Facebook and the chat is fine. That's what I'm on, Sue. Like I said, it comes up and then it just kind of stops. <laughs> but I have to just turn them on and off and then it comes back on again. So I'm going to do one more for luck, just so that is nice and dark. And like so. There we go. I'll clean all that later because I need to give that a good old wipe. So now I've got that all ready and that is everything I'm going to stamp on it. The rest I'm going to be using the die cuts and I can stick them on. So what I would say now is you can start sticking all of these down. I'm going to leave that a little bit longer to dry. So I'll stick that one down last, but we'll get all of the other mats and layers. Well, mats. Yeah, no and layers because we've got the back one and I'll stamp the happy birthday on that as well. So let me grab my glue and chat's good hey Karen hey Simone it's scrolling fine for me I have it on my phone and I've played it on the TV well as long as you guys can see it but apologies if you are you know asking me something and I miss it that's the reason why all it keeps telling me is who's joining <laughs> and then the odd chat isn't it exciting having evening craft means those of us working can join in yeah it is nice um hey susan um hey leslie so we'll start sticking all these down you should have a nice little border on the side oh no see this is typical look you're going to make sure you stick the right ones in the right place sam so that one needs to go <laughs> on the front I've got to stick this one down I bet some of you have already noticed and I'll get the chat in a minute you probably will now go in Sam it's the wrong one because I do it all the time or I stick something upside down or <laughs> what else did I do the colours in the wrong orientation I get so enthralled in the chat that I don't concentrate so that's that one and then this one let's get them down first let's just see if anybody's picked that up yeah, you're all laughing now because I'm seeing the emojis. <laughs> no, plus, I'm blaming it on the evening. I've already had my day. You know, I'm starting to wind down now. I haven't even had my dinner yet. So um, I'm going to, yeah, blame it on um, the fact I've had a long day. There are a lot of messages. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's why. <laughs> I'm so sorry I can't see them. Which glue bottle? I'm using Kalau Glue, Lynn. Uh, lunchtime in the USA, says Pat. Mary's laughing. You're all laughing. <laughs> oh, I wish I could see it all. I hate it. 
I'll hopefully be able to ca like watch it back and maybe I'll be able to see the chat then. So that's those two. All right, let's do, I have to add some glue to this one again. I can't even see if craft stash are commenting, which I'm imagining they are. <laughs> these ones for the back yeah I'm using the cloud it's just nice and strong for your car you know like when you're adding your mats and layers and stuff and then I'll probably use the cosmic shimmer for sticking a lot of the die cuts down because that's got that quick grab I'll pop that one in there I love this color such a rich like clean blue you know it's got that nice fresh look about it and then this one, make sure I'm getting them up the right way as well. I'll probably have me ombre in the wrong direction or something. In fact, I'm questioning myself now. <laughs> no, we're good. We're okay. So, that one there. Like I said, I may add a belly band. We'll see how we go for time. Um, there we go. Right, that one now. I think we're okay. Let's just check the chat again. Cooking chicken and chorizo paella when this is finished. Oh, that sounds lovely, Lynn. I logged out and back in again. Now the chat is showing fine. Do you know what I might do is do that on my iPad. I'm just going to flick it off because it's not going to interfere with, obviously, how I'm streaming. So let me just come out of that completely. And let's just see if it comes up again. <clears throat> Maybe it needed a refresh at my end as well. Um... Okay, Craft Stash is now live. Let's go on that again. Okay. Ah. Maybe that's now working. Okay, that seems a bit better. Let's see how long it lasts. Yeah, but I'm seeing loads of chat now. Ah. There we go. Isn't that funny? Oh, hang on though. It's not, hang on a minute. I think it's going back again. It's just... I wonder if you can turn off like seeing the people joining and just have just chat. I'm not going to do it now, but no, it's gone back to the same way again. Anyway, never mind. I'll just keep refreshing it. So let's get that one stuck down there. Okay, that seems good. Let's go back to what some of you said. Is it just me, or does everyone else feel your blood pressure going down? and getting into a relaxed zen mood when watching Sam. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> um, you can probably hear the tiredness in my voice. <laughs> Having coffee now, watching you. Hey, Benita. The blue inks, Jeanette, are the Mermaid Lagoon. Well, I, went, I covered the whole area in the tumbled glass and then I just kind of kissed the top three quarters, I guess, halfway with the Mermaid Lagoon. Um... Uh, why are you putting that lovely card layer on the back? It will all make sense. <laughs> um, oh, this is really frustrating. Like I said, the stream's great. There's no issues with that, but it's... Sam keeps me calm. Oh, that's nice to hear. <laughs> Happy to help. Right, so now we've got the gatefold. So that's the front. And then when it opens, we're going to have these sections. So we'll do that now because it's probably worth sticking them down and getting the bees and everything in place. And then we can kind of build up all of the dies and everything around it. Um, I had to out and back in to get the volume. You need to go out of Facebook, Sam. Close the Facebook app. Yeah, I did. That's what I just did. Um, no, I think that's it for the minute. Right, so what you want now... I've got these two pieces here and these measure, let me just grab my, um, which one shall I use? Here we go. So these pieces here are two by half an inch. Okay. Um, I've already folded that one. So I'll do this one. So two by half an inch along the two inch side, you just want to score at half an inch, one inch, one and a half. Okay. So half inch, one inch and one and a half. So you should have four half inch sections. 
okay and you want two pieces you may only want one you may use have three you might have you know you can fit quite a few in this and if your these panel pieces might be smaller than mine you might have different things on them so you know play around with it but I did initially I was thinking about having this in acetate but then you would still see the glue to attach it and then having like acetate so the bees were just floating on acetate but I don't think you were going to get the neatest finish um, so I've just gone for these smaller pieces in the end um, <clears throat> excuse me back on again right so what you want to do with these is hmm, do you want to need to colour that one do we is it going to be better to stick it onto that no it's going to be a bit too so you want to see where this is going to, so you want it to, it's going to be stuck halfway under whatever size you're using here. Now these, I'll give you the measurements. Hey Vanessa, hey Marie. Um, all from New Zealand, we've got Kent, Dorset, um, Hampshire. See lots of you have probably said as well and I've missed all that. <laughs> this square here is two by two. So that's going to be sitting halfway and I'm just going to sit this down here and then what I'm going to do is with a pencil um, it's only because I've got the these trails here and my sentiment that I'm doing this if you've got nothing there then you can just put them wherever you want but I'm just going to put a little pencil mark just there because I'll be sticking over that so you're not going to see it now I'm going to ink these up as well so I've got that one there and then I don't know why I changed them, they're both the same size. But this one is going to go here. So again, I'm just going to put a pencil mark just roughly, don't worry if you're a little bit out. But you're going to stick straight over that, but at least I can see where they need to go. So let's just ink up these three pieces. So again, I'll start off with the tumbled glass. I'll do this one first. So just all the way over. I just wanted this to kind of blend in with the background, really. There's that one. I'll do all of them in the blue first. I'm trying to again keep that chat going. And then Hey Linda from Swindon and it just will help these blend in as well you, you shouldn't see any of this really unless obviously someone's looking underneath Elisa you're in Norfolk that one hopefully I'll be able to travel back down later this year Ultra Dorset says Jew Hello to everybody, I'm not ignoring you. I can't see all the comments, so if anybody's joined, um, apologies. I do really like to interact in the chat, but it's just not in letting me do it today. So now let's get rid of that one. And use the Mermaid Lagoon. Try and keep those brushes separate because I've got one for darker blue and one for the lighter blue. And then again, I'm just going to Kiss the edges with the darker blue and then just pull it into that area just to blend it. And again, like I said, you're really not going to see these, but just so it does all match. And my hands are nice and inky, but that's what it's all about. <laughs> on this one I'm going to try one more time just coming out of the Facebook and um, oh, and then I might even just shut the actual laptop down iPad down for a second right so now we've got this one we can start sticking these down oh I need to do the dark blue on that one okay I'll do that in a second let's just turn this back on again 
Just thinking I might change the wheelbarrow a little bit as well. Pop all this away. Quick little interval if you want to pop to the loo just while I reload my iPad. And then I'll stick that on last, but that's going to go over the back there. And um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll just stamp that whilst I'm just waiting for that to come back on. So I'm just going to take that one out. lay this one down okay happy birthday and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna die cut the relax on the belly band if I do decide to do one so let's just ink this one up all right let's try again come on please work for me Lay that flat. Um, do 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 do. Right, craft stash. Let's have a little look. And there it is. See, that's all good. No issues there. And then loads of chat. And then it'll probably disappear. Me too. I get so excited when it arrives. I love Paper Craft Society. The only subscription I have. I think it's fab. It is fab. I love it. Um. Andover and Basingstoke, so not in Southampton, but not far. I used to live in Gosport and I went to school there. And um, Southampton, everything used to, used to be my neck of the woods. That's where my nan lives. She lives in Haven. Sam is having chat. I am having chat withdrawal, Anne. Is it obvious? <laughs> it's my thing. It's like my comfort blanket. Oops, sorting out food and dishes, nearly forgot. Did anyone else pre-order the woodware gnome? Oh, you lot and your gnomes. <laughs> I can only get three of them now, but I've become obsessed with these little creatures since Christmas gnomes. Gnomes, gnomes, gnomes. Are you doing another paper craft society box? Yes, I am, Mary. You don't have much longer to wait. <laughs> Same here, Wendy. Good crafting weather, though. Okay. Simone's like, yes, she is. <laughs> the chat's holding a bit better this time. So maybe it will stay. Um, okay, so now I can stick that one on the back. Did anyone else pre-order? Oh, Jenny's replying. She's ordered three. Cosham. My nan loves Cosham. My nan, is, my nan was brought up in Cosham. So um, we've had some funny little shopping days with her, bless her. In uh, college, it always brings back memories to her. Um, oh, those woodware gnomes are super cute. <laughs> what stamps and dies are you using? Helene, I'm using the Garden Delights from my 6x6 Twist and Pop, but I'm not using the Twist and Pop dies. I'm just using the all of the garden. You'll see all that in a minute when I get to it. I have friends in Plimpton, which I'm guessing... Well, Plimpton's in Plymouth, Karen. Um, don't jinx it. No, it's, it's working okay. I shut the iPad, I turned it off completely. So, Simone, Simone, <laughs> French there, Simone saying, um, coming right out of it completely seems to have worked. Um, hey Julie, first time watching, thank you for joining. Just ordered some more of your collection. Now, could, how could I not with the 20% off? Yes, take advantage of the 20% off, you've just reminded me. If you do like anything from my collection, or maybe there's something that you'd like to add on, I've got 20% off. Um, to celebrate my birthday, which is this week. And if you head to Craft World, um, you can get the code for free. You, If you're not a member of Craft World, then you would just have to sign up, but it's free and um, you'll get the code and you can get 20% off. And that is until midnight on the 20th of January. So, <laughs> welcome to a wonderful crafter from Mixed Up Craft. Oh, thanks, Simone. Um, are you going to do more evening lives? Um, I don't mind doing the odd one, but it, what daytime works better for me. Um, I try to stop my working day in the evenings, so, but it's certainly something I will, you know, I have done the odd one, so I will do some more. Uh, hey Paula, I have all your collections just waiting for your new stuff. Oh, thank you, Pat. 
I've ordered Francois's gnomes, but I will be ordering Sam's gnomes too. Is that a hint, Maria? You lot want me to do gnomes. <laughs> right, this is all done now. This is all dry. So with these ones here, what you're going to do is, first of all, add a little bit of glue to one of the ends. It don't matter which one. Um, yes, Sam, I thought it meant you were 20. <laughs> Already did that, Sam. Yay. Oh, to be 20 again. That was a long time ago. And if you sign up to Craft World, you get 10% off with Craft Dash. There you go. You're, you're selling it as well, dear and, um, uh, Geraldine. <laughs> so a little bit of glue just on the end there. And you're going to stick that where you just put your pencil mark. Okay. Like so. Just let that grab. This is a quick dry glue, so it shouldn't take long. My dad was evacuated from Jersey back to... Uh, oh, yeah, I've just lost that. Back to... Oh, chat's going fast now. Now I'm trying to keep up with it because. <laughs> um, oh, I just lost where that said that. Is that much further down? Oh, that's completely gone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Got it. My dad was evacuated from Jersey back to Plimpton during the war. Said when Plymouth got bombed, yeah, got bombed terribly. Um, was the best display he'd ever seen. I mean, we we still have some beautiful buildings, but what was bombed was oh, it just breaks your heart. Uh, Pat says plus free shipping on orders over seventy dollars. <laughs> um, okay, a very big hint. <laughs> So now, if you fold that piece in half, so you've got two of the squares on the bottom and two of them facing the top, add glue to the end one again. Okay, just like so. And then close that side of the car, um, gatefold. Um, hey Susan, hi Sam, I had problems trying to comment, love the colour of the blues. Well, hopefully it's working for you now. Um, I'm glad you like the colour, it's really nice. One minute you have no chat, then you can't. I know, it's crazy. At least I've got it going. So just hold that there for a minute. You don't want to lift this until um, it's kind of dry. Does anyone know any oats still in Plimpton? They're likely to be very distant relatives. Oats, what surname? I can't say I do. Steve might. <laughs> um, okay, so now when you lift it, you'll have this little hinge. No, I've lifted it too soon. I probably put a bit too much glue on, so I'm just going to hold that down a little bit further. But you see, we've got that little ledge for us to be able to stick this onto. Do you support Plymouth football team? I worked for a guy who did. I, I don't not support them. I don't go to them. My sister and my dad used to be season ticket holders. I went on a boxing day once and had a pasty and it was, it was joyful. <laughs> But no, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't call myself uh, an avid fan. Um, Alison, hi Sam, just home from work, hope you're well. I'm very good, thank you. Thanks for joining. No, the people I know are not oats. I ordered the last item of your collection, Sam, which was the chunky letters using 20% plus my 10. God, that's really good, 30% off. It's a bargain. <laughs> The only downside is the bath sorting office is rife with COVID. Oh dear. Right there. Oh no, I have. I put too much glue or the, the ink is still, no, it's stuck halfway. So what I'm going to do is I'll just pop a bit more in there. I'm just going to leave that and do this side. Let's pop that on top there for the minute. So you're just now going to do the same with this piece um how is your wrist um yeah no my wrist my, it's my it's it's all around here my elbow and stuff it's still quite sore but I think I've almost it's first thing in the morning more than anything now um I think I've just fortunately I've just got used to it so it's not it's certainly not as bad as it used to be so maybe that's why it's like it's through the day like now I'm fine but when I wake up first thing in the morning it's it's really quite sore um, hello Josephine, good evening Sam, I'm a newbie to you. Oh, thank you for joining and I hope you enjoy. And um, yeah, maybe you are starting to look at my YouTube and I've got lots and lots of tutorials on there. You've got four years worth now and there's nearly a thousand or is there a thousand now tutorials? There's quite a lot. <laughs> um, I can't dare to look at Craft Stash until I get paid at the end of the month. That's good restraint there, Geraldine. So now I'm just going to stick that one down as well. Um, the 
the sound's gone, says Zoe. Well, hopefully that's not the case for everybody. Um, Sandy says she's a premium member but can't find the discount code. Have you been onto my page, Sandy? If you go onto my expert page, if you click on experts, just scroll a little way down, you'll see me with pink hair. Click on me and you'll see my post and the code is there. Can't miss it. I know, Debbie, it was four years on the 11th of January. <laughs> I can't believe it either. Um, oh, I'll have a look. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, four years. Four years of tutorials. That's crazy. I placed my Oliver Craft stash for the magazine, 91. I really liked all the crafting items you used on the wreath card you made. It's such a lovely stamp set, that one. And I just think it's quite different. And I just think they've done it really well. I think it's something that you would pull out a lot, especially if you're sending cards to other crafters, friends that sew, quilters, stuff like that. There's something for, for most crafting you know, um, hobbies there. Geraldine, oh, you must look me up. Well, on YouTube, I'm under Mixed Up Craft. So Mixed Up Craft is my baby. And then Mater Surprise is a brand that I've brought out with Craft Stash. Um, hi, Bianca. Yeah, just type in Mixed Up Craft, three separate words, and you'll find me. I've got pink hair. And you'll see all the tutorials there. I've got playlists. I've got all of my Mater Surprise range on there. There's just tons. Um, Devone, I feel so cheated. I just found you a few months ago. But look at all of that lovely stuff you've got to work your way through. There's... Um, a lady in the group who's starting on my blog under if you go to on my blog which is www.mixedupcraft i have all of my i've got a catalog of all the cards i've made it's under card catalog click on that and she's starting from a she's on b at the moment and she's working her way through the alphabet of all of the cards <laughs> right there we go i think that's gonna work yeah i think maybe i should have done this a bit longer why is that one not gone right? It doesn't feel, that feels too high. Maybe, oh, I know what I've done. Ah, that's why it's pulling a bit. That's not gonna work. Okay, I need to go closer. It's okay, we can sort this. I'm not panicking at all. Although if my mum's watching now, my mum does all the panic for me. What I've needed to do is put it right up to the school line. I'm wondering if that needs to be a bit longer because it's the first time I've made this card and again if lots of you know what I'm like this sometimes happens but it's fine um, I'm going to go straight over those so I won't worry um, about that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do those again guys um, apologies if someone was crafting along there well you you might find yours is okay I just <coughs> stick it right up to the score line so I think that's why the glue was being a bit funny with me because it, it did seem a bit odd so I'm just going to cut these again, but I'm actually going to do one, one. So I'm going to do three by half an inch. Um, so it's the same width. It's going to cover all that mark, so I'm not worried about that. But it'll be, I'll probably get two out of that piece actually, yeah. And that's why a lot of people always wait till the YouTube as well. <laughs> because this is always like my practice run. And then when you go to my YouTubes, they're like 15 minutes, you know, really nice and quick. So the lives is where you see all the little kind of changes. Um, so I'm now going to do a half inch, one inch, and then one, and then finish with a half. So on these ones, three by half an inch, so I'm scoring at half an inch, one and a half, and two and a half. I like that you all have faith in me. <laughs> What's that? Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. <laughs> it's good we learn from your mistakes. Yeah, it just, it was, I didn't stick it quite right. I lined it up with the mat layer where you need to line it up with the score line. I'd be crying if that were me. Need to remember and ask yourself, what would Sam do? Sam doesn't panic. Sam does not panic. <laughs> I would be in a panic now. Thank God Sam can show us. <laughs> But it also does show that this is still a bit wet. Like it, like I said, it is um, dry to touch, but that oxide ink still kind of working its way in the cardstock. So, okay, I'm not gonna ink these. I will do that again when I make another one for YouTube. So I'm gonna put my ink again on the little squares and ink my glue on the little squares. 
and I'm wondering actually, I think I'm going to use the clue and clue the clow and just hold it down for a little bit longer because this stuff's like cement. So I'm going to pop a little bit on there and this time I'm popping it right up to the score line. So again, right over that. So you're not going to see any of that <laughs> happy little accident in the words of Bob Ross. Yeah, it's only card and paper. That's why we enjoy the lives. You're as good as everyone. <laughs> a happy mistake. I'm not worried. Nope. You have never dis disappointed us. Oh, thank you, Duska. Hey, Mandy. Sorry I'm late. I'm stuck on the sofa with cellulitis. Oh, bless you. Well, thank you for joining. Hopefully this cheers you up. Um, it just shows Sam is human and makes us feel relaxed. If some yeah. You know, with most YouTube videos, you know, they've been edited. Some people put the raw footage up and there's nothing wrong with that at all. But you see all that raw stuff in my lives. You know, so now I'm putting the glue on the top of that. And again, close that down. Fingers crossed it will all be fine. Everything you do always turns out fab. Well, you just hide it with a, an embellishment. <laughs> you drop the ink, you stick a little butterfly on it. <laughs> That's what my mum always says. I've said that so many times. My mum's a crafter as well, for anybody new. So whenever she shows me something and there's a bit of a rogue embellishment, um, I say to her, was that a little, is that hiding a mistake? And she laughs. <laughs> She's like, yep. So again, I'm going to stick that one right over where that's ripped. And then that one's down. Okay, what I'm going to do whilst that's doing its thing is I'm going to stamp my bees and I'm really frustrated where that, oh, I found the bee. Let me bring in what I've prepared earlier. I think you'll like all this. I forgot I put some glossy accents on the bees' wings. I knew I'd done it. Sometimes I think I'm going mad. These are all my flowers that I've prepared to go, um, well, around and inside the wheelbarrow and on the front. So I'm going to be snipping a lot of this off, but I've put, um, the yellow vintage Nouveau drop in the centre of them all. It looks really nice. Thank you for all your lovely thoughts. I thought this might take my mind off it. Oh, bless you. Eating birthday Chinese meal, watching Sam. Best birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Tanya. A fellow Capricorn. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Sorry, I just arrived. Been watching the footy. Can't wait to see what you are making. That's all right, Christine. Thank you for joining. Everyone's now wishing Tanya happy birthday. Yeah, these are so nice. This is what's going to bring all the colour to the card. So I was letting these dry, which they are now, because I did go a bit heavy with some of them. But I'm going to snip into them, you know, cut a lot of them. But I just thought, and I won't use every one. I'll probably keep some of these for the YouTube video. So that's all the flowers. There's my little snail, and I covered him with glossy accents, so he's nice and shiny. i done my tree there as well. And then there's the bee. So I've done one of them and I've put the glossy accents on the wings, which looks really nice. And then there's that one as well. But what I would do is I paper piece, if you wanted to keep that as a whole piece, um, I do the little, what do you call that? Flower pot in brown or you know, a different color. Okay, so now I can stamp the other butterfly. I feel like I'm, 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 I've got my flow going now. Now I can see all my chat and I found me bee. I'm happy. <laughs> Yeah, the snail's cute. And also Colin the caterpillar. He's really cute. There he is. <laughs> so it's when you start adding all the detail to them that they all come to life. Because some of the dyes are stencils, so you you know I stenciled that detail there. But once I start using them, I'll show you the dyes again and you can see them a bit closer. So I'm just gonna stamp this one. <laughs> Jan says I lost a stamp, found it two weeks later, stuck to the back of a paper. Oh, I know. And, you know, I find when a die goes missing, it's now I know to look there. But before they used to get stuck underneath the um, stamping platform because obviously that's magnetic. So if you ever lose dies, check underneath that because you'd be surprised. <laughs> OK, I might do that one again. I think that had a little bit of dust on it. that a bit darker but I love the detail in these uh, caterpillar's your fave I love the dice set he's so little yeah he looks really cute on the I'm gonna probably pop him on the handle there of the wheelbarrow so Jennifer you have two dies missing what dies do you have missing 
you checked them all against the um, picture on the front? I take it you have. If you have, contact Craft Stash. They'll be able to sort that out for you. I would need to leave out the bee. They give me the heebies. <laughs> really? So I don't mind bees, but wasps. Yeah, I'm not too crazy on wasps. Right, let me grab my yellow. Just very, very easy, quick colouring. A little bit of yellow on the body there, just kind of in the, the gaps. And then I'm going to use a little bit of grey. Just checked under the stamp platform. Not there. <laughs> Um, I'm just remembering when my youngest son was four, he would call caterpillars cow pitchers. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I always smile when you show us Colin Caterpillar. That's my husband's name. <laughs> a small deer that's been missing for a few months. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant from the die set. Um, for a few months and a curvy die. They aren't from crafts. Oh, sorry. I thought you'd missed something from one of the die sets. Yeah, it's so frustrating. And then it just appears out of the blue. Um, I've done that with dies and paper clips. I only found them under the stamping platform because I dropped it upside down. I probably need to pull out all my paper and see. You'd be surprised when I've moved my craft room around. The stuff you find, it's like, oh my gosh, I remember that. You, you know, you didn't go mad after all. I put coloured spots on the caterpillar. It looks so cute. Oh. So then I'm just going to this one out like I said you can just stamp this directly onto the square if you wanted to if you want inking it or you could do a bit of masking if you don't like fussy cutting but I'm gonna pop a little bit of foam onto these just to add a little bit of a, a natural shadow so I'm just gonna go around give myself about two mil white border so it looks like it's been die cut. Like so. Ooh. If you hear my stomach rumbling, it was quite loud just then. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have usually have my tea by now. So I'm going to have to make something easy afterwards. <laughs> I put colours, but I've seen that one. Glad it happens to other crafters. Oh yeah cooking and missed how you got the yellow onto the bees just with a yellow pencil so I just used just this one and just literally coloured over all the white areas and then I did on that one actually I did go over it a little bit darker on the black just to get rid of the white it just kind of makes them stand out a little bit more there we go so I'll put the glossy accents on him right at the end I lost a letter from the Alpha set found a couple of days later in my Ugg slippers. <laughs> Honestly, the weirdest, it's like when you go out the door, I've had like red liner tape stuck to me because of the static. I need a tea cake, yeah, I do. Um, I've had, I've had the odd dye stuck to me, like caught on, you, you've probably seen some of the jumpers I wear. They're quite um, like knitted, you know, so things can catch on them quite easily. And, um, doing yeah no I think that's fine uh yeah I've had things stuck on them before it's quite funny I take my laptop to the kitchen my husband's stomach has reminded me to make dinner and sometimes I've had dice actually attached to my laptop um there's a magnet obviously somewhere on it and it's you know attracted them to it I'm gonna have him like that because I think that's gonna sit quite well with the trail so now you see just by putting them on the foam you get a nice natural shadow so they really do look like they're flying Found gems stuck to me, yeah. <laughs> Should have had a tonics. Yeah. If it gets really bad, then I'll just grab one because it is my stomach telling me it's very hungry. Right, take two. So now... Oh, what have I done? Sam, what are you doing wrong? I'm not concentrating at all. Oh dear. There we go. I need to stick that bit down. Don't follow me with this today, will you? <laughs> I needed to add another score line. It's all right, I'm just gonna squeeze it down. There we go. Easily sorted, so I'm just gonna add a bit more glue under there. I am I am um, a, a good crafter. Anybody new watching is probably thinking, what is she doing? I'm blaming it on the time of the day. No, it's fine, all easily rectified. Like I said, this will be a, a seamless YouTube video. 
my hubby constantly complains about finding white square bits from the backs of the sticky pads i know it's terrible right that is all fine what i'm gonna do there is i'm just gonna grab a little bit of ink and a very thin these are great when you get the thin ones of the blend those makeup brushes they will help a lot yeah i am it's it is putting me off a bit low blood sugar a little bit of ink and then i can just go in there and just disappear look at that you would never know and i'll go on this side as well but that kalau is really stuck well there so i could ink these up as well if i wanted to but i'm not gonna it'd be okay it's because you're hungry yeah it is and it's just thrown me you know what i'm like if it's i'm I'm quite organised with all this. I had, I've got everything ready, but when that chat's not there, I do, I feel lonely. <laughs> yeah, they're really like, when I got them, because these are makeup ones, I was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I'm really going to use them in my craft. And the amount of time I've pulled out the little ones just to kind of fill in those little areas. So, But now that's what I wanted. So you've got these two lifted sections. So now we can stick, <clears throat> excuse me, this one's going to go on like that. And then that one is going to go on like that. And you can see how they're lifted up. And it just gives a really nice fun effect to the card. So I'm not going to use that glue again. I'm going to just stick with the Kalau. So I'm just going to pop it on the top piece there. And also there. And then, so that one's going to go on there. I'm going to just close it down. Sit it so it's in the middle and just close that down. And again, just close that one down. Just hold them there. Yep, sorted. <laughs> Where's my tonics? Anybody new who's joining, you know, some of the chat you might be thinking, I don't know what's going on in chat. Um, I do a live on my Mixed Up Craft Facebook page every Monday and Friday at two o'clock GMT. And um, I've been doing them from the start of lockdown. And I finished the year on number 64. So we've done 64 lives and I've continued them again this year as well and um we've just become a little family it's really nice and we we've really got to know each other and we talk about all sorts but i always have a tonics tea cake and a cup of tea or some kind of treat but it's usually a tonics tea cake and i'm a massive tonics tea cake fan and anyway so that's why people are mentioning tonics tea cakes if anybody's unsure <laughs> i've lost stamps and found them on wheels of my chair dies i found stuck to the magnet on the back of another set yeah that's another one actually on the backs of things like this so um i just found this from oh i can't pronounce that let me try saskatchewan canada that's probably not right <laughs> me too with the ocd i've been following sam on how she stores her dyes and stamps so much better now i know what i have and they are i love it it took me a long time to get my dyes my stamps and dyes organized in a way that i i was really comfortable with and i've never touched the way i do it now it just works so well it says the live has ended and you have disappeared eek oh no i'm still very much live Anne. i hope not there's nothing nope everything's everything's fine my end <laughs> i need a cup of tea i need some sugar clearly <laughs> hi sam i waited you all day then i forgot oh jenny bless you you'll be able to get this on catch up anyway yes low it's a province in canada <laughs> i've got family that are in victoria um, they lived in Orangeville in Toronto and now they've moved to um, Victoria. Did anyone see Phil and Holly raving about Bridgerton the other day? Yeah. Okay, so now, look, yay, it works. Now you've got these floating elements. Like I said, I did think about having these on acetate so they kind of just move. But now we're going to have the wheelbarrow and we're going to start adding all that decoration. So let's just get rid of these little bits here. And there, I've got little glue bits everywhere. Right, so next I want my watering can. So I did do two. I've got the picket fence here as well. So I'm wondering whether to have this at the back. Let's bring in the dice so just so I can start to explain to you a little bit in case anybody's not seen these. Okay. Um, yeah, it's like pimping a gatefold card. It's quite a nice way. Like I said, this is not my idea. This was requested um, on my via my um, website. There's a request section there. 
so it gave me the idea the card I was going to do is going to take too long so I'm saving that for one of my lives where I can kind of do it as long as I want um, so because I did have well I have I've got a really cool card design but I'm gonna like I said keep that one back for a minute so this is the die set and come over this side a bit here and this is where I've got the picket fence. So I'm going to cut it down. So I've just die cut two of them because I may well, or I might turn that into my belly band. So I'm not sure yet, but it, it needs more colour added. So I've got the grass here. So I've die cut, I think I've done six of these. So I've got them to continue on the front of the gatefold as well. And these are using these dies here. So I've just die cut a load of those. And then I just added a darker green ink just to give them a little bit of shadow. Looks quite nice. So I'm thinking either have them, that grass looks quite nice in front of the fence. And then maybe have the wheelbarrow. Because this is lifted, you can pop things underneath. As long as it doesn't interfere with that, you know, the bit is, is actually on. You know, that's going to move over what I've got here. So let's just grab the, I've got two wheelbarrows here, so now I just want to start, I'm going to keep it as a white picket fence, and then I want this folded just kind of there really, see I think that's going to look quite nice, yeah, but then you don't, I don't know, this is when I start getting your ideas now, or um, thoughts, I don't know whether maybe I have the picket fence on the very front and maybe a little bit on the sides. because it's almost like you're opening the gates and then this is everything you see. So I think I'm going to keep these, I'm definitely using them. I think here I'm just gonna have this grass along the bottom and have the wheelbarrow just kind of hidden in there. So let's start building up the flowers. So I'm gonna snip a lot of this away and I don't want the bottoms of these ones with the actual I'll keep the grass on those ones so let's have a blue I've got a purple let's have a couple of pink ones of this um, the yellow we'll keep there and then let's do because I want these on the front on the belly band as well um, what other one I think that's probably it so let's really fill this wheelbarrow with lots of flowers and I also need to add I went ahead and on the wheelbarrow when you cut it you'll see like little embossed circles and hang on a minute if I bring it up if you see there there's like an outer embossed ring and then that middle one so I die cut it again in the smaller size and just cut that one out and then I die cut it again in black and I've cut the circle out and it just gives a bit more definition to the wheel there um, yeah, I might put a little bit more brown ink on that though because it needs to match a bit. Anyway, so let's get this one here. Um, where's my little pin just gone? Isn't it frustrating when that gets clogged up? There we go. Good to go. Um, what's everyone saying? Wheelbarrow on the grass. Yeah, I love that idea. Prefer the wheelbarrow on the grass. Okay, we're in agreement with that. And then I'm just going to stick it behind, making sure, yes, yeah, so that's all going to be there. So let's do little bits of the grass poking out. And let's do the purple. Actually, no, let's do the blue because I've got the purple and the pink in those ones. So a little bit of that one. Um, what's that, a plant pot in the wheelbarrow? With Well, I've got these plant pots here, so I was going to have them kind of... I was going to have flowers coming out of some of them and I'm going to stack them and then kind of one of them that's like fallen over and then have some flowers kind of around them. So I'm going to do that on the sides of the gatefold. And then let's just pop little bits of glue. The plant pot in the wheelbarrow with some flowers. I've just read that one. This card will be perfect for my sister-in-law for her birthday in April. She has a green thumb and always grows a beautiful garden. Oh, and that's nice. I don't think you can go wrong, wrong with flower theme garden theme kind of um dies and stuff my dad's a, a gardener and i done a well you would have seen it a lot of you if you followed my youtube i done him the potting shed that bench fold card i do like gardening i have had a garden 
I don't have a garden now because I live in an apartment but um, I do yeah I've enjoyed my garden in fact when we used to live in Portsmouth I remember my dad made me a little rockery in our garden so I used to um, used to join in with my dad when he gardened when he gardened when he was doing the gardening let's just fit that one in there they're kind of like staggered in front of each other and let's do maybe let's squeeze that one in there let's do the purple that's smaller actually let's put the purple one in there such it's so nice like doing cards with like spring colors you know things that are nice and bright especially in january <laughs> it's always quite a miserable month isn't it and with everything else going on so it's quite nice to um work on something so colorful get rid of that glue there we go and i think i can do with maybe another yellow let's trim one of these ones let's just snip that little one off there um yeah they would paula still got a lot of that left as well the secret garden <laughs> i'm a terrible gardener plants see me coming <laughs> i've had a few house plants dying at the moment which isn't great um i always find snails climbing up my pots have to put a rim of vaseline to stop the plants getting ah not heard of vaseline that's a good one does that work well we have the same problem huh. i've not heard that one before so i'm going to pop a little bit of yellow just at the end there okay and then let's add a little bit of colour to this. I've got a bit of ink still on this one, I think. Just takes away that kind of fresh card look. Just nice to add a little bit. It's very dry. Let's go in with the darker one as well. Oh yeah, there we go. Am I looking for time? Gosh, time that goes away with me. Sorry, Maria. I know she's in the background. It shouldn't take me too long now doing all of this bit, but everyone knows what I'm like. <laughs> okay, let's get this all stuck down because I do need to have some tea. <laughs> Pour a pass out and stick that one in the middle. There we go. I think that looks really, really cute. So that is now going to go in here and it's going to fold across there because it's only a thin piece so that's not going to interfere and then I'm going to stick the grass over the top there I think that's going to look really cute so let's get that stuck down I'm not going to stick any glue on the flowers I like them to be quite free so they kind of you know wobble and shake a little bit when the cards open so I'm just going to add the glue on all of this bit like so and then I like it kind of tilted up slightly because it fills that space as well oh, a bit glue there I've got a thick remember put Colin the pack uh, Colin the caterpillar in as well there we go so I'm just gonna fold that right across yeah it definitely needs a belly band this one because I'm putting a lot of dimension inside mine okay there we go so you see what I mean? You can afford to have that dimension there because of the way that this is lifted. It works really well. Right, um, I've also got here the, um, what's this called? <laughs> I'm losing the plot guys, what's wrong with me? Um, and that there I think. I think that's going to look quite cute and then on this side I'm going to have rake that's the word I've got it and I didn't look at chat <laughs> it's my mind's just a little bit delayed oh we've also got the little ladybug she can be flying up there actually because that'd be nice to add that little pop of colour up in the corner um yeah I think I'm going to keep the fence on the front and just keep all the grass on the inside here <laughs> you're all saying now rake it's a rake Sam it's a rake Okay, let's just add the grass. So just a little bit of glue along the bottom and I'm just going to run this along the mat layer there. And again, have that one just overlapping a little bit, which is fine. Hopefully I'm entertaining to those that may be a new joining, probably thinking, who's this crazy lady? 
And there's also a stamp in the stamp set here. So you could also stamp your grass if you wanted to. Um, and you've got the fence that you could stamp as well. So if you like to fussy cut and stuff, you have got the bits, you know, in a stamp form rather than a die form. Okay, let's have, so I've got the watering can. So that could be, that fit that might, I would have to maybe trim that unless I fold it, but that could maybe go on the front. Um, let's do that one there and then I can feed the little plant pots in just behind it. If I just run a little bit of glue there and then sit that one like so and then we can just kind of yeah look they're gonna sit in there quite nicely kind of stacked. I might do them a little bit wonky maybe something like that and then I'll put this on the front. I've got the true the little pot there as well. There's so many elements in this dice and I haven't even used all of it. There's still birds and bees and lots of other bits. Let's get Colin stuck down. Um, let's pop a bit of glue just on him. He's going to be sat on the handle like so. Let's get this one down. that it's a really busy card have you inked them all or used colored card um colored card um it's all colored card and then i've just added some um ink just to highlight this is all colored card um that's been die cut on black and then i die cut a little bit in gray and then in silver and just pieced it all back together again but you can imagine how long it's taken me just to do this how long it would have taken me if i'd done all of this from scratch <laughs> so <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a frog, frog in my throat as well. So let's run that one along there. Let's just shift that along a little bit. There we go. And then I'm just going to stick that slightly in front and I'll probably put um, maybe that one can go just underneath some of the grass. Yeah, stick that one underneath and then the rake can go in front. My hubby's called Colin and he heard you say Colin and has just come in the room thinking I was talking to him. Colin! <laughs> what was I saying? I'm not going to say the word, but you know that device that you call and it tells you whatever you want. I We were talking about that once during one of the lives and quite a few people's A-L-E-A, -E no, A-L-E-X-A's went off and it was really funny. <laughs> so I won't say it. Thanks, I joined late, then had issues with the internet, then my mobile, Ah, oh. Happy post came today with your celebration bundle from Craft Sesh. I think I might have to order this, but God bless you. Well, with that 20%, and I don't know if you are a Craft Stash member, um, Craft World member, but you'll get an extra 10% as well, because a couple of people were talking earlier in the chat saying that they benefited from 30% off. So it's even more. So it's a good, good little January treat. <laughs> That's the one, Simone. <laughs> I don't say it though because the amount of people that had issues <laughs> it's the kind of card people display forever yeah I love these kind of cards like I said I do quite happily spend a few hours on a card with lots of detail so but now oh I haven't stuck these ones down let's just get these stuck and I might pop a couple of little flowers coming out of the grass as well but sometimes I don't make a card, I just sit and die cut and stamp things. And that's kind of what I, I had a lot of this from when I'd done the demos and things. So um, it's quite nice to um, have them ready for when you need them. Hello, love this card. New to the live. Hey, Christine. We call her Ruby so she don't come on. All oh, right. <laughs> we unplugged ours. <laughs> happened to me with that word yesterday <laughs> they will be so useful with house boxes shares etc yeah I'm gonna do that one there and then I'm gonna just cut let's do a couple of blue and just snip a few off there and then 
I'm just going to feed these in. So it's like they've been cut, you know, they were growing in the grass and then the gardener's picked them out and filled up his wheelbarrow. I'll do a blue and purple. And you should always do three, so I'll do a yellow one just in actually in front of the plant pot as well. There's lots of dimension there. Let's do this one here. Um, really appreciate your birthday treat for us. I bought the twist and pop and stamps and sent my, oh, I spent your points too. Yeah, that's the thing. The points are really good, aren't they? I've had quite a few in the past and it does make a massive difference. There we go. Right. I think I'm happy, really happy with the inside there. It looks so nice. We'll bring it up a bit closer there. See all that. So much dimension to it. It looks great and it just, it does close. Like I said, it's, I'm not gonna push it down too much, but now I'm thinking, do I just decorate the belly band so you've got that to enjoy? Cause I can stick all this to the belly. I think that'd be quite nice. I might do a little cluster. I like to do that with the plant pot, another Colin. Yeah, so what we're gonna quickly do, well, I actually already prepared the belly band piece here. This is a piece of one by A4 length, so it doesn't matter what you've got. Um, and you're just going to bring it around like so. I want it tight enough that it's going to hold it, but not so tight that it's obviously not going to be able to come off. So I think that's going to be fine. Like I said, you may not have as much dimension as I do, but I do always add dimension to my cards. And you could always put this in one of my box envelopes. So if anybody, you know, is ever after a box envelope, if you head over to my YouTube channel, I have a six by six and a five by seven box envelope tutorial. And I show you two ways to make them. So you can have them as with a lid or as a top uh, kind of flip box. And um, so yeah, so if you ever do make a dimensional card, then I've got the boxes for them as well. Can't have too many Collins. <laughs> it looks like a printed page of a book, beautiful. Oh, thanks Maureen, that's really nice. Thought you was going to use the fence. I can put that on as well. Oh, the fence can go actually on here. The belly band I'm going to um, have as a separate piece. I think I'm going to die cut an oval. Um, I wanted to have the relax as well. I could do a larger belly band. We'll see. So I wanted to stamp the relax and then or die cut the relax. And now you can slide that off and then just squeeze down the sides. If you click on the big picture inviting us to craft along, the post will open and the codes are in the post. One for the UK and one for the US. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab my, I think I'm going to do, yeah, let me just grab my rectangle dies. Um, and let's do largest size yeah I think that's going to work quite well because that will mean that can go on there but I don't know oh I could get that die cut in there and maybe snip that and just have the top of it we're going to work with this we're going to die cut this here so let me just grab a piece of scrap card there we go I'm going to get this inked up quickly as well. So it's the last last bit now. Let's see if I can get this done within, well, 10 minutes. <laughs> I say I'm just showing my mum. Could you open the card, please? There we go. And it just closes up. We're going to decorate the front. But these are lifted. They look really cute. Okay, so let me just run this one through my dye machine okay right let's just 
Um, ink this one up. No, the magnets don't come. I just add them myself. Oh, I've got a bit of brown in that one. Don't contaminate some. Go over that with the darker blue in a minute. No, the code's changed, Pat. We've got a new code. That's why it's a hidden code and it's over on Craft World. So it's to encourage people to go over to Craft World, check it out. If you haven't, if you're not a member of Craft World, it's free to join and um, you'll see the code there. No, that code's expired, but there is another one and it's still valid until the 20th. So you can still enjoy the 20%. Okay. That's that one. Yeah, this will be on replay and I believe Craft Stash will also probably share this onto their YouTube channel as well. So you can watch it there as well. Speed um, inking here. <laughs> actually because that's the largest die that I've just cut there you know what I'm like for a white border so I'm going to trim this <laughs> so I've got a border <laughs> so this is just over three or four and a half so if I if I do this to three and three eighths by four and a quarter Three and three eighths by let's do there we go. Oh. oh dear. Four and three quarters, Sam. Honestly. What is wrong with you? Three and three eighths. Four and three quarters. White card coming out of my ears. <laughs> Do I prefer? I think that's brush over daubers. Um, to be honest, the daubers are good for um, more to get. Not if you're kind of using it for like stenciling and stuff. I think daubers are quite good still because they don't. It, the bristles on the brush brush can go underneath the stencils. So um, I think there's still definitely a, a place that I do find myself using the brushes a lot more. So, okay, so that's that one. And then I'm going to have this here. I'm going to cut, my fences are going to go down here. So let me just um, probably get two out of this. So if I cut to there. I'm just going to cut down there and then just snip that off there and then I'm just going to follow along the line that is already there as well like so and then that one will go right down there And then lay that one down. Like I say, if you don't want to do a belly band, you know, you can start layering this all up here. But I did plan on doing the belly band, so. And then that, oh, it's just short. Good job I die cut two. So up to that one there. Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat for a second, because I do want to get this finished. Um, Where's the vinyl? It looks fab. What brushes do you use? They're just makeup brushes. If you go onto Amazon and just type in ever, um, no, life changing and then makeup brushes, you'll see loads. There's just so many to choose from. But if you see the coloured ones, that's what I've got a mix to be honest. I've got the ones that are actually coloured 
um, and which are a little bit more expensive. They're still not massively expensive. Or you've got the black ones and like rose gold and stuff. And I think you can get them for like five ninety nine and stuff. So let's stick that one down there. I'll take some pictures of this as well. Um, you probably won't see them tonight, but they will go up onto the craft stash page tomorrow. So you'll be able to see all the detail. so and then this is going to stick over the join so i'm just going to run my glue through the middle there and just pop that down it's nice and straight and then i've got a watering can and then hmm don't like that let's just do that with so I wanted to just die cut the relax like so maybe have a little bit of the plant pot if I get that right up there so I can trim the plant pot off there like so and then again have my glue Just there. So it's going to have relax and then enjoy your day and then on the back happy birthday. And then I've got my snail so I could have him, he'd be quite cute to have there. And I might have Colin, yeah we've got to squeeze him in there somewhere haven't we. And let's do... I don't want more pink. Let's do the yellow coming out of this plant pot. Must be really weird because obviously for me in the UK this is evening, but there'd be obviously people watching. Some people were saying they were having their lunch. So let's just sit that in front a little bit there. Um, yeah. Just wondering as well whether just to squeeze kind of that in that could yeah it looks quite nice let's just have that kind of coming off the belly band a bit there I think that'll look quite nice together this is what happens when you've got loads of bits to play around with you can just start feeding them in anywhere really and just building it all up like so And then we we'll stick him. Uh, or you naming the snail? What have we got? Cindy, Cindy snail. We can have Cindy snail. <laughs> what we we'll do is we'll have the snail. And we'll have Colin just down on the top of the plant pot there as well. And he can just be tucked in, just there. That looks so cute. And then we we'll just quickly die cut the word relax oh yeah Colin climbing the rate that would have been cute never mind one for another day Brian the snail <laughs> it's not a kit Sandra it's my six by six twist and pop die set so you can make the twist and pop card which I've got at hand can show you what that does because I've got another nice one there um, but I just wanted to show you other ways to use it you know you don't always have to make that card shape you've got there's just so many dies in this set that um, it's nice to just you know do some other things with it so now let's now this die is intended to be cut into the cardstock so that's why it comes apart like this but you can use it like this as well so let's just get rid of in the middle there, pop a bit of glue on the back. Um, well, I think the snail might feel left out if they, have, yeah, it's like equality with the garden creatures, I say. Yeah, I think when you name them as well, you get attached to them, don't you? So, 
let's do probably should have stuck that one down first but it's going to be about there And if any of you do make this card, like I said, I will be sharing a video on YouTube um, probably next week. But um, I have a group, Mixed Up Crafters, on Facebook. It's a lovely community and you can share anything that you've made following my tutorials over there. So if anybody has made this tonight, feel free to share it. Relax. I think that looks really, really nice. I think that's it. I think I'm done. I'm a virtual, um, in a virtual conference, so I'm jumping in and out. I hope this is available online. You'll be able to watch it on Craft Stash. I think they'll probably upload to YouTube, and you will also get it on my channel next week sometime. So let me just give you a final look at the card. Just pop all this. So that's the set. Again, some people may have joined. This is just all the dies you get all the loose dies to do anything with which is what I focused on today along with the stamp set which is this one here so there's the bees and I use the enjoy your day from the celebration set and the happy birthday on the back which I'll show you in a second but there are all the dies and then on the back is the dies to make the twist and pop card which if I just have a quick look on my Thing here. Um, here we go. So it is. What was the one I made? Um, sorry, two sets. I'm just trying to find the other one, which was the one I done during a live. Um, Well, these will give you an idea anyway. So this is what the twist and pop will do. So you can see that's what all this mechanism are doing. You can see I've used the boat the, and the bees there. Um, still got to do the fronts of some of these. So I know not everybody. There's that one there where I've done the meadow and stamped them on, similar with the blues and stuff. And then... This one. So you can see the relax at the bottom there and the way I've done the grass and that's the papers. That pad's sold out, but we have got a new one coming. Um, and then this one I done as a vertical twist and pop. Are the dies in the kit that big? That big or smaller? What do you mean? That's how big they are, how, how I've used them. That's it, that's how they cut. I love this one. So you can see just another way of using a lot of those dies that I've just used today, but that's using the mechanism here, but I wanted to show you alternative ways to use just this here. So again, there is today's card. Really, really love that. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Take the belly band off and then you have all of that inside. And then on the back, you have all that space. I've got lots of glue bits here. I just need to rub them all off. So you've got all that space to write your message, but the idea is then they display it like so with the belly band there. And I think it looks really, really nice. So again, if anybody's missed, you can get 20% off plus 10% if you are a new member to Craft World. Or if you, sorry, if you become a premium member of Craft World, you can get 10% off as well on all purchases. So with the 20% that I'm giving, that's 30% off anything from my collection until the 20th of January because it's my birthday week. <laughs> So, and for, I know lots of people already have this die set, so I just like to give you more inspiration. So hopefully that inspires you and you can start creating some nice cards for the summer. So thank you so much, everybody. I'm so pleased I was able to get the chat in the end. I'm not sure why it was being a bit funny, but um, we got there. So I'll thank you everybody that's wishing me a happy birthday. It's really nicely. I'm gonna have the day off, spending it with my mum and dad um, and just go for a walk. So there's not much more I can do. So <laughs> we'll still make the most of it. It'll be a nice day. So thank you everybody so much for joining and um, I will be back with my usual lives over on my Mixed Up Craft channel on Monday at 2pm at GMT. So yeah, if you want to check that out, go over and follow me on Mixed Up Craft. I'll take lots of nice photos of this and you'll see that as well tomorrow. Leslie, the code is over on Craft World. If you follow the link on the Craft Stash page, it will take you to Craft World and you'll see the code. All right. 
uh, oh Sandra my last name is Calcott so it should say the live on this live it should say Sam Calcott's gone live on Craft Stash thank you everybody take care good night good morning good afternoon enjoy your day and sleep well bye bye <laughs>